Now try solving this question e to the power x cos square x dx. This is a very simple question. I don't think you need to refer to the solution. But for those who have yet not got the concept, try to look at the solution. Here you can see that I can write cos square x as 1 plus cos 2x dx, right? Now, break this. We have e to the power x by 2 dx plus integration of e to the power x cos 2x by 2 dx. This becomes e to the power x by 2 plus c. Now, to solve this, which one should I take as the first function? I will take cos 2x as my first function. So, I will get cos 2x e to the power x minus differentiation of cos 2x is minus 2 sin 2x and here I will get e to the power x dx. So, I will get e to the power x by 2 plus c plus half of cos 2x e to the power x plus this one integration of 2 sin 2x e to the power x. To solve this again what we should do is that I will again have to use the same substitution by parts. Should I solve this or should you try this on your own? I think I can leave this question on your own. To solve, you can try this question because this is very simple. It would be a waste of time if I try solving this question on myself. If you want to see the solution, okay, let's proceed with the solution. You have to if I indicate sin 2x dx, what will I get? I will take sin x, sin this is my first function, I will get sin 2x with the power x minus, I will differentiate sin 2x, I will get cos of 2x e to the power x dx, okay. Okay. Now you see, if this is my i, this again is my i, right. So, this, this is i this whole thing okay so i can write just have a look at this part this is i which is equal to cos 2x e to the power x plus 2 sin 2x e to the power x minus 4i so 5i becomes cos 2x to the power x plus 2 sin 2x e to the power x so my i becomes this so, the value of this integral that is e to the power of cos 2x, this half I will take outside, is this. So, I can replace this whole thing now because I have been able to find what i is with cos of 2x e to the power x plus 2 sin 2x e to the power x by 5. Okay, so this is my solution. Okay. Now, I will give you one more question. The next question which I want you to solve is integrate 1 divided by sine of x minus a into cos of x minus b. Try this question. 
in this question this question is the first of its kind and what i'll try to do is that in this question what i'll do is see you have a sign term you have a cost term so somehow i'll try to break this multiplication to sum of two things and that sum of two things can be sin plus sin or maybe tan plus cot or something like that whose integration i know what the solution of the integration so as a first step let me multiply both numerator and denominator by cos of a minus b here i have integration of sin of x minus a cos of x minus b dx now here i have 1 divided by cos of a minus b integration this cos a minus b i can write it as cos of x minus b minus x minus a right this becomes a minus b okay and in the denominator i have sine of x minus a cos of x minus b okay. right now well this one cos of m minus n is what cos m cos n right plus sin a sin m right so i'll do that i'll simplify this as cos of x minus b cos of x minus a sin of x minus a is cos of x minus b dx plus i have integration of sin of x minus a sin of x minus b by sin of x minus a cos of x minus b to dx now see here what happens this gets cancelled with this and here this gets cancelled with this so i am left with integration of cot x minus a dx plus integration of tan x minus b dx now you know that integration of cot x is what it's so i have been left with this so you know that the integration of cot x minus a is ln of sin x minus a so this one is ln of sin of x minus a and integration of tan of x minus b will be ln of cos of x minus b plus a constant c so this is my solution okay 